guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorRace.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Galaxy Nexus for Verizon. This is by Team Haters. Uh, the lead developer is Sparky Man, but he wanted to make sure that I did give credit to the entire team because he's had a lot of help in building this ROM. Now this ROM is called Dream Killer, and we'll head into the settings real quick and see what version we're working with. This is version 4.2.1. So this is the latest version of Android. It's totally built from source. Uh, you see that it does include the Trinity kernel. Now I did speak with Sparky Man and he let me know that he's working on performance settings. So we go into settings and we come all the way down. We don't see any performance settings. But it does include that Trinity kernel so you can overclock. Now you can use a application like Set CPU or No Frills CPU as a free uh, CPU controller application. Uh, you can overclock it all the way to 1.6. I did some testing at 1.6 gigahertz and it got a little buggy on me. So it did freeze up and I had to reboot my phone at 1.6. 1.4 seems to be really stable. 1.2 is plenty fast. So there's really no reason to overclock anyhow. All you're going to do is drain your battery even faster when you overclock. Um, and it's just fine at 1.2 gigahertz. You can tell that it is buttery smooth. Uh, getting through those screens and also through the app drawer and you can see just how fast the home comes back up so everything is really nice and smooth one thing that you're going to notice right off the bat is this dark theme so if I pull down my notifications everything has been kind of darked out uh, including like our text messaging and our settings were darked out and then of course you have this unique text so you can see that the text is kind of a bold text there it takes a little bit of getting used to but once you get used to it I really do like it a lot now with this being 4.2 you're obviously going to have all the extra functionality like Google now uh, you will have your keyboard your 4.2 keyboard is included here um, you're going to have your 4.2 Gmail and you're gonna have your quick settings now one cool thing about the quick settings is he's included in his settings options to change those quick settings so you can go into the quick settings control you can enable the toggles that you want to enable so no more of that bar of toggles all always across you can actually change your quick settings which is a really cool feature I like that a lot so you can choose which toggles you would like to enable and then you can also rearrange those. You can change how many toggles come in a row. Jumped out of that a little quick. You can change how many toggles per row up to five per row. So you can add as many toggles as you like or have as few as you like as well. So we could go to like three toggles per row and pull those down and there you have it. Uh, so there are some other customizations here as well. We have status bar customizations. You can change the clock style if you like it in the center. Now, for some reason, I couldn't get it to stick. If we take it to center, even after reboot, that part did not stick. So that could be a bug or something's gone awry there. But battery percentage, that does stick. So you can change your percentage on the fly, and that does stick. Signal status, you can show the notification count uh, for your email that one may require a reboot as well the power menu that's whenever you press and hold the power button uh, this menu can be customized with a full reboot menu and then your navigation bar can also be customized I have it set up like my Galaxy S3 just because that's what I have become familiar with but you would just press navigation bar button and then you would unlock it and then you can modify those uh, like so and then you would just lock it back when you're finished you can change the size to give yourself more screen real estate so we can change the height and that gives us more screen real estate which is a really nice feature and then you can also change the width and you can change the color as well so lots of customization included but not it's not overly customizable like an AOKP uh, just subtle customizations to make your experience your own uh, which I really do like we do have lock screen settings, so you can change the security very easily without having to go through uh, your settings. And then you can go into slider shortcuts and change your slider shortcuts to any application. Like so, now if I lock the phone and unlock it, I can easily access my browser. Or I didn't save it. 
you have to save that. So we'll save that. Now I can access my browser from the lock screen like so. It also includes the theme chooser, so you'll be able to apply any signage in my tent or AOKP theme from the Play Store just on the fly, and that's really neat. So other than that, he's done all sorts of memory tweaks, and he's done some build dot prop tweaks, and all sorts of different tweaks and mods to improve the overall performance of this ROM. You're going to see improved battery life, and you're going to see improved speed and snappiness with the ROM, as you can see when we fly through the screens. One other thing that he has included here is the DSP manager, and there's, I forgot to mention that we do have 4.2 camera. Uh, we also have a custom boot animation, which is pretty cool. So what we'll do right now is I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install this ROM, and then uh, we'll reboot the phone. You guys can see the custom boot animation at the end, so we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now with this ROM, the G-Apps are included, so you don't have to worry about going elsewhere to find G-Apps. They're all included in the ROM, which makes things nice and easy for flashing. So if you guys have installed a ROM before, then you know what to do. We're just going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Davit cache, swipe to wipe. Then we're gonna, going to install, and we're looking for team haters. The latest build was 1219, so we'll go ahead and select that. Make sure that's what you're flashing, then swipe to flash when you're finished you're going to reboot system. So I'll leave you guys with the custom boot animation. This has been Dream Killer by Team Haters. Uh, for more information on me, you can check out droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I'll announce any giveaways that are coming up, plus everything that's going on with this channel. Also be sure to click that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Nexus and all other phones that I cover. There's lots of them, so you want to be sure that you are up to date by subscribing. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.